Hey everyone, today we're going to have a little discussion about drive cam and I'm going to tell you the truth about drive cam. Everyone's told you how it doesn't spy on you and all this stuff. I've got a true story for you. All right, the company was founded in 1996. It's a privately held company and it actually uh, the real name of them is, is Litex. Okay, now this story is about my conversation with Litex because I called them because I had a fleet. And so when I had some issues that I was worried about, I wanted to know the truth. All right. Uh, okay. I was with a company, and I'm not saying your company does anything like this, but we I aggravated a, a guy in the company. And this was a small company. Next thing I know, I'm getting all these phone calls from safety. Little did I know that his wife worked in safety. All right. She's calling, not she, but another girl's calling me over all kinds of things. They're piddling. I'm like, why are they bothering me? I knew what my contract said, right? And I also know my rights because the Privacy Act was, it was founded also in 1998 by the Reagan administration that covers you, even in your bunk or in your truck, against all kinds of intrusions. Kind of also ties in a little bit with the Mann Act and pornographic material and stuff like that across state lines. Because who knows what you're doing in your bunk, right? But anyway, they called me all the time. Finally, the girl says, we had some disturbing footage of you in the woods. She said, what were you doing in the woods? And I said, what are you talking about? This is late January. She said, I'm looking at video from you from November. I said, hang on right there. What are you doing looking at video of me at home? Well, I can look at this video anytime I want. I said, no, you can't. It's only for critical events. She said, well, as long as you're with this company, I can look at your drive, this drive cam anytime I want. And I go, tell me how. She wouldn't tell me how. So I told her. I said, I'll tell you what, I got a contract here in my side door. You better go read it because you're messed up and you just crossed a boundary. I said, you have the, your chief safety officer call me back. I said, because we're going to talk. They never called. Almost a year went by. They never called. Matter of fact, they left me alone. I could do, I had this gold after that. I could do anything I wanted to do. Two weeks later, eight girls were fired from the safety department. I wonder why. They contacted their attorney, and he told them to clean house. But in the interim, I contracted DriveCam. And they told me the same spiel that everyone is told. Only a critical event record, makes it record. No, it records 24 hours a day, and it's saved to the cam. I said, wait a minute, guy, I got a fleet here, and I want to put drive cams in my fleet. What happens if someone's at home on home time or I'm switching companies and my, you know, my truck might sit somewhere for a month. Don't worry about that. It's recording all the time, he said. He said, as the administrator over the drive cam for your company, you will be issued a special code. And with that special code, you can log in to the website and you can see everything that goes on on that drive cam, front and back. If you're in the back with your lady love and you don't have the curtains pulled, that's a felonious act. Not an act, but a, 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 bit, a view if someone watches that. All right? That's why they let eight girls go in the safety department because they were all committing felonies, laughing at drivers and everything else. Because I, I was in the office one day and they were laughing at drivers. I was like, they're watching YouTube? No, they was watching drive cam. It was their fun and games. The administrator at the company, who is too busy, and I understand that, to go over their drive cam videos when they have um, a critical event, had passed the code, the code words to her first lieutenant, who was too busy to view videos. So she had passed it to someone else. So over the years, everyone in the safety department had the code to log in and watch drivers. 
everyone that's telling you that drive cam is not recording you, they don't know any better. But this is the truth. This happened to me. I'm not saying it's happening to you. This was a small company. You know, only 350 company drivers and another 200, you know, lease operators and owner operators. All of them didn't have any drive cams, just the ones that had purchased or leased a truck from the company. So that is the truth about the spy cam that's in your truck. I don't think everybody's using it against you, but I won't have another one in my truck. After I left the company, they enacted a program for their drive cam. If you wanted to pay them $15 a month, they would then watch your drive cam. Otherwise, they t said they turned off access to the driver's side of the camera and that their new trucks will no longer have a drive cam in them. Now, I talked to my attorney about this issue and uh, he said it's a real good issue and we should proceed forward with it. I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to mess up the company or anybody else. They're, you know, that's not what I do. But it is something to be aware of. If you're in the, in, the, in the back and your curtain's not closed and maybe you don't get a shower tonight so you're washing your feet, that's illegal. It's a private part of your body that they're not supposed to watch you wash. You may be washing something else or doing something else. I don't know what you're doing in your truck, but I got a lady love in my truck, so you know what I'm doing. Maybe you've got one too. I've also heard of drivers that lost their job because of their drive cam. They were doing things wrong, like drinking and stuff like that, but no one should have ever caught them if they were on their own time, now should they? Not saying they were right, but somebody was wrong for watching. That's the truth about drive cam. You don't gotta believe it, but it's the truth. Thanks a lot.